these. So if I like these frequencies up here, I can lock them. And so they're all locked. So let's unlock these and see what happens where I recalculate those. Those are falling into 16 and 18. So it's, it's, it's doing what I want it to do. So there's my 16 and 18. And I'm going to lock these where they are. <clears throat> now let's add the uh, Sennheiser 2000s, which are uh, overlapping somewhat. So they're going to end up above here. They don't overlap anything else. So I'm going to do the same thing with them. I'm going to uh, go to Sennheiser uh, 2000 in the A band. And here, oh, actually, I'm still in the most restrictive setting here, but I'm getting frequency, so I might as well just leave it there. It doesn't matter. So I need to have, um, actually, I need more frequencies than I need 10. So I'm going to turn this off. And I'm going to recalculate. So here we go uh, in 25. So here's my 10 Sennheisers. I'll put them in a music mic group. Now over here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add the Sennheisers for the 2050s to my list. And I'm going to do standard calculation on them. We'll see what we come up with. All the rest are locked. And the Sennheiser, I get a bunch of frequencies. Okay, here we are. So we're going to lock these. And these are falling, uh, should be falling in the, in the higher bands, 25 and 26. Yep, they look like they are. So I'm going to lock these. So I've got the Sennheiser Sun. Now I'm going to add the um, music mics, my Shure. UHFR in band L3 <clears throat> and again I'm still in most restrict or I'm not in most restrictive I could go in there because there's plenty it doesn't make any difference as far as a mic is good so I might as well leave it so here I need to have my six production mics and I Right now, at 45, that means this channel, this frequency is right on the edge of a DTV station. So if you look at it, you probably won't like where it is. So I tend to try to stay away from those marked as D. So here's my six production mics. Now I'm going to do the same... Um, mics for the Shures over here for my production mics UHFR and I, I chose more than I put more than six in my inventory but I don't need six in this coordination so I'm going to just choose six here so here's six UR4Ds in L3 and I'm in standard so I'm doing coordination fine I got them now the last thing is I have to create do all the BTR uh, channels so I'm gonna see what I can get in telex BTR over here 800 in the one band certainly can't get 16 uh, the, the inner mod is just too much. Even if I have the inner mod turn off, turn off fifths, for instance, here. Do I get a couple more? A few more. I, do, I still don't get 16. I could try it, never get 16. And that's about it. Because if you look down over here on the chart, that's all there is, channel 38.
channel 39 and 40 have DTV stations on it. Now the DTV stations as we look up here are sort of weak uh, in the outside calculations. If I look on the inside calculation they absolutely don't exist whatsoever. So in this case I'm not going to calculate based on the outside. I'm going to turn off 39 and 40 and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put uh, BTRs in those places. So I'm turning off in Workbench and up here I'm going to turn off uh, 39 and 40 which I can turn off here or I can just right click down here and turn them off and now I do a recalculate and I got plenty. So I'm going to start out with the 38s Here's my 16 BTR bell packs, and I fit them all into the same coordination without having to use another zone. Uh, I did them all with minimum just thirds, which is good. It's always good to try to put your received channels of BTR in the same zone as all your other stuff, particularly because the intermods from the IEMs you want to avoid. Uh, if the monitor engineer overdrives these IEMs, they'll be splattering all over the place. You'll end up picking them up on your BTRs. So here we're going to go add in the uh, BTRs to this, the rest of this coordination. And I'm going to manually select the BTR bell packs. And I'm going to do a calculate on the BTR bell packs. And it, I'm going to try doing it in more frequencies and see if it comes out a little bit faster. There we go. Now we have our 16 all calculated in just third order. So we're pretty much set. So that pretty much is the process for both of them. Now in IAS, I picked each one separately and started with it separate and then I just to follow along I did them one at a time in here but let's go totally delete everything into workbench and let's load everything in all at once all frequencies in and we'll go through these here and set the BTR belt packs for more frequencies and the 2050s will set for more frequencies and the base station F's will set for robust and the SLX is fine and the UR4D will set for more frequencies. We'll also set the uh, uh, in-ear monitors for robust. SLX is a standard. Okay, now let's try a calculate on the whole kit and caboodle without doing them separately. And it pretty much found everything the process is, is a little different in both. Here we do it one at a time, and here we uh, can do it all at the same time. But we've got to create all our inventory one at a time. So it's six of one, half a dozen to the other. Um, if we, let's say, go to another city, just arbitrarily, let's go to um, a new city. We'll go to New York City, 10001, zip code. And we'll save it and we'll go to a new city here TV wizard so we put in the new TV stations here and the new TV stations for New York and these are not uh, this is not effective now I'm just gonna do a total recalculate we're gonna here we are on IAS we're gonna do a recalculate of all the frequencies as they are and for the New York new city it's doing them and the red ones it couldn't find frequencies for, and the orange, orangish ones it changed from the original. So the black ones are the same as it was before. Uh, here in, BT, in the BTR word, I couldn't find enough. I can right click on this and force a recalculate on that. I still can't get it. Uh, so either I have to move that band or I have to 
look for frequencies only by their space. So here's a recalculate, here's a recalculate, and here's a recalculate. So I didn't do intermods on those three recalculates, but the rest of them all came out fine. Here over in, in Wireless Workbench, I'm going to do a full calculate to see if it finds all the new frequencies. Oh, you know what the difference is? The two different programs pulled different TV data out. All the dark ones on here you see are TV stations, whereas down here, 16, 17, 18 are not the same. So I'm sure if I calculated and set the TV station to be the same between both, they would both do a full recalculate. Uh, and that's pretty much where it is. If you have any questions about what I did, uh, please tell me. Talk to you later. Bye.